Me Force 96 here with another video review, this time of the Marvel Universe Classic Avengers 3-pack consisting of Ant-Man, the Wasp, Thor, Iron Man, and the Hulk. So here you go. So uh, so this was a 3-pack that I really wanted. When it first came out, you know, um, I, I just I waited for it a little bit. You know, I saw it a couple times, but uh, I didn't want to buy it right away, so I waited a little bit. And then it ended up just, I could never find it again. I, once I wanted to buy it, could never find it again. And uh, was just, I've been looking for it for... I don't know how long it's been, six, eight months now since it came out, and uh, finally, with the new three-pack that has the Red Hulk in it, that uh, that assortment is being sent, and uh, the Avengers Classic Pack is also in that assortment, so uh, luckily I was able to find it at my local Toys R Us for a... Uh, is it like 20 bucks? I, I can't remember how much these packs cost. I think like 20 bucks. So yeah, so uh, so it was extremely happy to find it. So yeah, so uh, so the box is really cool. I love the back, how it's all like the stars and everything. It's got some great artwork right here. Looks super cool. And then on the back, of course, you just have another three pack uh, and then the figures themselves. So very nice. So... So let's go over this pack. So first of all, let's just start off with the uh, small figures that come with this pack. One of them is the Wasp. And as you can see, let's see if we can focus a little bit better. So yeah, so here's the Wasp. She looks pretty cool. There you go, you can see her. She's pretty nice. I mean, the face is actually like sculpted on there. Of course, because this is so small, it's very hard to see. A little bit of paint splotching right there. The wings are nice translucent, which is really cool if you can see that, which looks nice. And uh, overall, a decent little wasp figure, uh, nothing special. Unfortunately, the only way that you're going to put it on your shelf or anything is just for like laying down like that, uh, which which is a kind of a shame, but yeah. Here is Ant-Man riding a, a fly. Here, just so you can see him. Let's focus. Focus. So, yeah. So, uh, so there he is riding the fly. And, uh, there we go. He looks pretty cool, and I do like him riding the fly. Uh, his legs are kind of, like, holding him up when you have him down on the ground. But if we separate it, just so you can see this, or I'm assuming this is a fly, with some kind of bug. But anyway, here's the bug. Looks, uh, pretty nice. It's, I mean, it's well done. It's just a normal bug. It's got the translucent uh, clear wings, which is nice. And the Ant-Man himself is pretty cool. Um, comparing him to the other Ant-Man. There we go. Comparing him to the other Ant-Man. Let me just go get him. Alright, here you go. So here's the other Ant-Man that came with the yellow jacket figure. As you can see, a significant uh, uh, difference in, in size. The, uh, the other one's much bigger. But as far as detail, they're both done very well. I mean... Uh, I do like it, of course more detail on here, but he is bigger, and uh, so this is smaller, a little bit more accurate, and uh, they, they look pretty good together. Overall the same type of sculpt, just uh, different kind of poses. He really doesn't like stand up on its own, he has to uh, ride the fly to be able to stand up, so yeah. But uh, those are the uh, small figures of the pack, pretty neat, I mean, uh, they're, they're neat, they're little, you get a little extra figures, which is cool. So now let's go on to the Avengers, so let's start off with the God of Thunder himself, the Mighty Thor. So here you go, let me uh, just readjust the camera so we can do the bigger figures. So here's Thor. So if I'm not mistaken, uh, all of these uh, these three figures are all kind of remolded, resculpted, but uh, but taken from a base figure and stuff like that. Same goes for Thor. But first of all, let's just go over the figure. The figure is very nice. You've got the uh, little silver circle circles right there. His legs are cool. He's got kind of like a bandage glove uh, or bandage uh, boot things, which is neat. He's got a nice cape, which pegs into his back in two different places, just right here, just little pegs and then he does come with a hammer and uh, as you can see the hammer has tremendous detail on it and uh, does uh, say the Thor oath you know um, so that's pretty awesome I really like when they take little hammers and do that kind of stuff but the hammer itself does have a lot of nice detail I mean as you can see all of the uh, the silverish and stuff it looks like He's been used a lot. Very cool. Do like that. And uh, overall, the figure is very nice. So as far as articulation, he's got a ball hinge neck, but because of his hair, it is hindered a bit, but it does swivel very nicely. He's got ball hinge shoulders, swivel bicep, hinge elbows, swivel wrist, ball joint upper torso, waist swivel, uh, ball joint hips, double hinge knees, and a hinge swivel ankle. So overall, the old type of articulation for Marvel. Still very good articulation, but it is that old style. And that is because this figure is directly a uh, complete, just repaint of uh, this guy right here 
And uh, I'm not sure if... I, I got this figure from the 2-pack with the Enchantness, or whatever her name is, so I'm not sure if that's the original pack that this was released from, or something, but they are the exact same mold. Of course, uh, it's the exact same in the chest and everything, nothing's changed there. The blue on his pants is uh, is lighter on this newer one and brighter, which is cool. The uh, the skin tone has some more kind of uh, shading over here, which is nice. And then uh, the legs are exactly the same as well. And then the cape, I'm not sure. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it could be a little bit darker on the new one. I think that this Avengers pack one has a little bit of a darker cape. And then, of course, the head sculpt is completely new. I'm not sure if that's a completely new head sculpt altogether or if that head sculpt is taken from a different Thor figure. Not sure on that. But, uh, but it is definitely different than the uh, old one, so yeah. So overall, if you have that old one, uh, this is still, it's it's still a nice mold. I mean, the old one is a nice mold, and uh, the hammers are the same too, but but you get a nice new face sculpt, unless this is reused from something else. Not sure, but let's get it close enough on this face sculpt. And really like how the wings have like uh, blue and uh, white highlights. I think they look really awesome, but overall, it's a nice face sculpt, which is cool. So yeah, so now let's go over the Iron Man. So this is, of course, the Gold Iron Man. I guess this is Mark One. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, you know, I'm not. I've never read a really old Avengers uh, comic book, so I'm not 100% sure. But I think it's like the Mark One, and uh, the Mark One in the comics was gold, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. So this is pretty cool. I definitely like this head sculpt. It's very nice, very robot-ish. I guess you can say. I think that it's got a cool look to it. And I do like it. It's it's very gold and uh, shiny too. It really does look a uh, look kind of real, which is nice. He does have like some battle damage. Um, his knee there has like battle damage on it, which I think is kind of neat. I'm not, I don't know why they did that because they really didn't do it anywhere else. At first when I saw it, I thought maybe it was a mistake, uh, but it isn't. It it's, it's really sculpted on there. So yeah, he's got some kind of like red, kind of reddish highlights over like the joints and stuff. Kind of looks like that, which is cool. Oh, here's another. Uh, dented mark like it's been battle damage. Really neat looking though. I do like the sculpt a lot. Paint wise there's not much to talk about but sculpt wise there's a lot. Very cool. As far as articulation he's got a swivel neck, ball hinge uh, uh, shoulders, hinge swivel elbows, ball joint. I, it's a swivel wrist but this one is either really loose or it's ball jointed. I think that it's just really loose though. Um, and he's got this like pinching hand. I, I don't know what that's about, uh, I don't know what this uh, sculpt is supposed to be, but uh, yeah, it's a little pinching hand, which is kind of funny. Ball drained upper torso, but uh, it mostly just swivels, this is very limited articulation on that. Uh, ball hinge uh, thighs with double hinge knees, and a hinge swivel ankle, so overall pretty cool. If I'm not mistaken, this is a direct repaint from the uh, comic series Mark 1 from the Iron Man 2 toy line. I do not have that one though, I have the uh, the movie Iron uh, Mark Mark 1, uh, but I don't have the comic series Mark 1, but if I'm not mistaken, it is the exact same sculpt, just repainted. And uh, so yeah, so, I, you know, because I didn't have that one, this was really awesome to get because I didn't have the original sculpt, but if you do have the original sculpt, apparently it's the same thing, unfortunately. But yeah. Now we move on to everybody's favorite green monster, the Hulk. So very cool. So uh, this is very classic. And if I'm not mistaken, the body is reused again. Uh, the only thing is I do not know what this is reused from. It might just be just directly taken, reused from the uh, the first Marvel Universe Hulk. Um, it very well could be because I don't own that Hulk, so maybe that's what that is from. But if I'm not mistaken, the head sculpt is completely new. It wasn't reused from any other figures. Very cool. It's got a very classic uh, kind of Hulk. The, uh, the Hulk face has been definitely changed since then. But uh, looking pretty nice. His hair is pretty cool. You got a couple green highlights in there. It's kind of hard to see, but there are some green highlights, and that's nice. Overall, no shading in the muscles, which I would have liked, but maybe because it's comic, no shading actually looks a little bit better. Some very classic purple pants, a little very light purple, and uh, yeah, just very classic. Pretty neat. Some some cool feet. The feet seem just to be uh, just a little bit resculpted from the newest Hulk. I'll show him off with him later, and yeah. So overall, pretty cool. He looks very nice, uh, very clean. Uh, with this new one, let me compare them now. Hold on, let me just move this down a little bit. The new one, here you go. As you can see, the new one's got a lot more detail. Um, it, it looks like, other than the chest, the arms and the legs, they seem to just be the same type of thing, just a little bit modified. They're definitely not reused from each other. I mean, there's so much more detail in this other one and uh, opposed to the 
Avengers one. But as you can see, that does seem to be reused a little bit. Just even the feet. The feet look like exactly the same. Just, uh, of course, this one's got sculpted in veins, while this one kind of doesn't. So... So yeah, so there you go. But overall, pretty neat. You can see the uh, the old classic one compared to the new uh, kind of uh, Hulk is actually really cool to see together and overall very nice. So overall, this is actually a really cool pack. Um, I highly recommend it if you don't have any of the originals uh, because I think, I know for a fact that uh, Iron Man and Thor are reused for the most part and I think that Hulk is reused as well. Not 100% sure on that statement, but I think so. So, uh, so if you have the original Originals of all of these guys. This is not a pack that you need to get. If you just have the original of one, like me, this is an awesome pack to get. If you have an original of uh, just one, a original of uh, two, but you, one you don't have, I still recommend this because even though the originals that you might already have, there are some pretty big differences in these figures, even if you have the old ones anyway. So, uh, so the only reason I wouldn't recommend it if you hate Avengers or if you have the originals of all three of them. If you don't, or if you only had a couple of the originals, then this is a really cool pack to get. And plus, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Wasp, the Ant-Man, and the Ant, they're completely new, so uh, so those are little bonuses to go with them. And overall, an extremely cool pack. I'm very impressed in it, and uh, highly recommend it. So there you go. That's my very review of the Marvel Universe Classic Avengers 3-pack, Ant-Man, Wasp, Thor, Iron Man, and the Hulk. Thanks for watching.